This video is going to cover the query function in Google Sheets. So you can see we have a set of data here of loan detail information and we'd like to utilize the query function to pull back a smaller subset based on criteria we specify. You can see that this data takes up the most of the spreadsheet here so when you're using the query function it's usually a good idea to add a second tab where your query function and the results it produces will live. So we'll come down here to this left hand corner and click on the plus symbol to add a new sheet. We'll double click on the new sheet and rename it results. Up near the top, I'll begin with my query function. You can just type equals QUE and hit tab. You can see the query function has three inputs. The first input is the data input. That's the data set we want to query off of. Well, that is our loan detail information on the first tab. So I'm gonna go back to the first tab, click in the top left cell here. I'm gonna hit control shift right arrow and then control shift down arrow to select this entire data set. I'm gonna hit F4 to lock that down. You can see those dollar symbols appear there. That just means this set of data is locked. If we were to drag the query formula or copy and paste it elsewhere, once we've input it, this reference to the data on this sheet would stay fixed. So our next input is the query input. That is where we actually specify parameters of what we want to do with our query. You know, what do we want to pull back? And when you're hard coding this query input, like we are now, it needs to be enclosed in double quotes. So I'm going to begin with a double quote and then the keyword select. For now, I'm just going to input select star. And what that will do is that will pull back everything from this data set on our results tab. Once we've input this function, we'll get more specific in what we actually want to pull back. So our last input is the headers input. That is where you're just simply specifying how many rows of headers you have. Well, generally you're only going to have one. So I'll hit enter and you can see this displays the entire data set again on our results tab. And why did it do that? Because we said select star, select everything. So now if we wanted to filter things down a little bit, let's just say with this detail, we only want to pull back loans that were originated at the West branch. So we'll hit F2 to go back into our query function. After the select star, I'm gonna input the keyword where. Now the location column is column D. So when you input parameters on your query, you have to refer to that column letter and it needs to be capitalized. So we want anything in column D that is equal to the West branch. And since this is a text field column, the text that we specify in our criteria has to be enclosed in single quotes. So I'll hit enter and you can see this displays only loans that were originated at the West branch. So if we wanted to add another criteria on top of the one we already have, maybe we just want to get business loans originated at the West branch. I'll go back into our query function after our first criteria of the West branch. You will type the keyword and, and the loan type resides in column C. So we want anything in column C that is equal to a business loan. And this too is a text column, so this criteria needs to be enclosed in single quotes. So I'll hit enter, and you can see this pulls back only the loans originated at the West Branch that are of a business loan type. In addition to having multiple criteria results based on an AND condition, we could also have multiple criteria results based on an OR condition. So if we wanted to query every loan that was of a business loan type or dispersed at the West Branch, we would hit F2 to go back into our query and change this keyword AND 
to an OR. And this pulls back either loan types that were business loans or loans that were originated at the West Branch. One other thing I would like to point out is we still have that select star statement in there along with our OR criteria. So as it stands right now, the select star is pulling back all of the columns from our data set based on our criteria. You might not always want to pull back all the columns. If you don't, right after your select statement, you simply reference the columns you do want to pull back. So maybe we just want to pull back A, B, C, D, and E. And now we only pull back the first five columns of our data set. The query function also has the ability to subtotal by categories. So if I wanted to subtotal this data set by loan type and branch location, we could do that. We'll go back into our query statement. We want to get rid of some of these detail columns like the loan ID and client name. We want to subtotal by location and loan type and we want to sum the original loan amount in column E. So I'm gonna insert the sum function in front of column E and since we want to subtotal by those other two columns C and D we're gonna include the keywords group by and then reference those columns again. And you can see we quickly subtotaled by loan type and branch location. So as I mentioned earlier in this video, we hard coded the select statement, the green portion here, into our query function. Now, Google Sheets also allows you to type this in a cell and then list a cell reference here instead so you don't have to go back into this function every single time and retype something. So if we wanted, we could copy this data here, paste it up top, and I'm gonna come back in here and just list the cell reference, which is cell A1, and you can see nothing changes. And if we change our select statement up here to back to maybe select star, you can see it adjusts accordingly. So a lot of people prefer this method because it's just easier to type in your parameters up top rather than have to go back into the query function every single time.